Welcome to story time. This week is trains. Are you ready? We're going to start with our hello song. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Good job. Next, we're gonna do the Itsy Bitsy Spider. It's kind of rainy today. Ready? The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the spout again. Okay, our first book is called Chugga Chugga Choo Choo. And it was written by Emma Garcia and is read with the permission of Boxer Books, which is an imprint of Sterling Publishing. Chugga chugga choo choo, here comes the train. Clickety clack on the track, going to, where do you think he's going? The seaside. We can taste the ice cream. Oh, he's picked up a passenger. Chugga chugga choo choo, here comes the train. Clickety clack on the track going to the forest. We can hear the birds sing. Oh, he's he's got some more passengers. Chugga chugga choo choo. Here comes the train. Clickety clack on the track going to the city. We can see the tall buildings. Who do you think he'll pick up this time? Chugga chugga choo choo, here comes the train. Clickety clack on the track, going to the farm. We can smell the farmyard. Chugga chugga choo choo, here comes the train. Clickety clack on the track, going to the station for a nice long rest. But who's making all that noise? Got four geese, honk, 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 honk. Three pigeons, coo, coo, coo. Two blackbirds, tweet, tweet. And one seagull, caw. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Fly away, birds. Night, night, train. See you tomorrow. The end. Okay. I have a song and it's to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. So it has some actions with it. First, we're gonna pretend we're a train, and then we're gonna go forward and backward, and then we're gonna ring the bell and blow the whistle, toot toot, and make a lot of noise everywhere we go. Are you ready? I'm a choo-choo train chugging down the track. First I go forward, then I go back. Now my bell is ringing, hear my whistle blow, toot toot. What a lot of noise I make everywhere I go. Let's do that one one more time. I'm a choo-choo train, chugging down the track. First I go forward, then I go back. Now my bell is ringing, hear my whistle blow, toot toot. What a lot of noise I make everywhere I go. Our second book is called Snakes on a Train, and it was written by Katherine Dennis, and it is read with the permission of Be Well and Friends Books, um, which is an imprint of Macmillan Publishing. The conductor takes the tickets as the snakes all slither on. The tracks are checked, the whistle blows, it's time to move along. Hiss goes the sound of the train. The train leaves the station as the gears begin to grind. The switcher pulls the handle and the cars slide down the line. Hiss goes the sound of the train. The brake snake stops the train. There's trouble in the back. The flagger waves the signal flag. The train stays on the track. Hiss goes the sound of the train. The train is in the tunnel. 
It's dark as night inside. Hiss goes the sound of the train. The train races down the hill as the snakes pretend to fly. A view from high as fish swim by. Hiss goes the sound of the train. The day is coming to an end. It's time for snakes to find their dens. As snakes slither off to sleep, the train rests for the night. Snakes wrap themselves in little balls and tuck their tails in tight. Shh goes the sound of the train. The end. Next I have a flannel board and it's called This Little Train and it's uh, the song is to the tune of This Old Man. Okay. This little engine painted gray takes us places far away with a choo-choo clickety-clack hear the whistle blow. This little train goes chugging home. This little car painted black Keeps us chugging down the tracks with a choo-choo, clickety-clack, hear the whistle blow. This little train goes chugging home. This little car, painted white, keeps things cold both day and night with a choo-choo, clickety-clack, hear the whistle blow. This little train goes chugging home. This little car, painted green, it's the fanciest car you've seen with a choo-choo, clickety-clack, hear the whistle blow. This little train goes chugging home. This little car, painted blue, it has seats for me and you with a choo-choo, clickety-clack, hear the whistle blow. This little train goes chugging home. This caboose, it is red, it goes chugging off to bed with a choo-choo, clickety-clack, hear the whistle blow. This little train goes chugging home. Okay, our next book is called after trains go chugging home, where do steam trains sleep at night? And it was written by Brianna Kaplan Sayers and illustrated by Christian Slade and read with the permission of Random House Books. Where do steam trains sleep at night after puffing down the tracks? Do their moms steam up hot cocoa for their just before bed snack? Where do snowplow trains sleep? After all the tracks are cleared, do their moms say, plow your toys, kids. Bedtime's almost here. Where do passengers train sleep? Once they've dropped off girls and boys, do they fill their seats with teddy bears and cuddly bedtime toys? Where do freight trains sleep at night when cargo's reached its destination? Do they rest on Daddy's flatbed as he chugs home to the station? Where do monorails sleep once their one-track trips are done? Do they sway to sleep on sky-high tracks beneath the setting sun? Where do fire trains sleep when they're heroes of the hour? Do Dad hose them down with water for a special bedtime shower? Where do high-speed trains sleep after a day of crazy speeding? Do train moms try to calm them down with sleepy bedtime reading? Where do breakdown trains sleep once they've put engines back on rails? Do their dads rock them off to sleep with thrilling rescue tales? Where do trolleys sleep at night after shuttling through the street? Do mama trolleys ring their bell, train bells for a lullaby soft and sweet? Where do subway trains sleep once they've reached their final stop? Does the street become their blanket, a quilt of city lights on top? Do trains gather in a roundhouse or a freight yard or a shed? They don't sleep atop a mattress the tracks become their bed, but they have a special blankie and an oh-so-bright night light. They sleep beneath the crescent moon. 
and a sky of stars so bright. Where do your trains sleep at night when you've drifted off to dreamland? May, well, maybe all your choo-choos are fast asleep in steamland. Okay, I have one more flannel board. And it's called Five Little Steam Engines. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five little steam engines chugging down the tracks. One hit a bump and it went smack. Four little steam engines chugging down the track. One took a wrong turn and ran into a haystack. Three little steam engines chugging down the track. One stopped to talk to a boy named Jack. Two little steam engines chugging down the track. One got hungry and stopped for a snack. One little steam engine chugging down the track. He returned to the station. No, that's not how that goes. <laughs> he returned to the depot and was glad to be back. <laughs> okay. And the steam engines bring us to this week's craft. We're gonna make our own steam engine. And you get all of the pieces in the kit, which you can pick up in the children's department or at the drive up window. And if you want, you can decorate your train either by painting it or maybe giving it some decorations with markers. I would do that first before you glue all the pieces together. And the last thing we have to do is our goodbye song. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Join Miss Haley next week for Bilingual Story Time. Have a great afternoon.